Okay, welcome. I am Henry Jemmo, a new <laughs> uh, member of the Document Foundation from uh, 2014 and the former member of uh, Libertalia. This is a derivative of uh, US S5. In the US S5, health is health of organization is spread in the vector region. It has uh, four, four hospital with uh, 1600 PCs in territory. This is a logo with Google SS file and uh, the picture of uh, migration. In 2005, I was moved in USS files uh, in computer at desk. I was uh, already a free software user and uh, understood the, 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 the lack of the knowledge of uh, available software, especially with regards uh, to the office automation. I still uh, exist at workstation with uh, Windows uh, 98 and most uh, were Windows uh, uh, 2000 and Office 2000 was uh, the office week. Then they start uh, to include the software such uh, as OpenOffice uh, and the Firefox. Uh, yet keeping Microsoft Office because uh, OpenOffice was still uh, very mature for uh, this uh, version, version one. All uh, this situation remained uh, changed until the final event of uh, LibreOffice. Since uh, the first release, uh, OpenOffice was replaced by LibreOffice. As the default installation, the reason of the change was uh, to give confidence uh, to a new community. Uh, no link to any company and uh, so free um, from commercial uh, restriction. Okay, this is a situation a uh, difference from uh, user and PC asset. This chart is possible to view the number of user and PC in asset. They they are different because many. PCR share and AMM users. So, the AMM user. In OPC, it is installed LibreOffice in very old version. The, the most is uh, 4, 3, 7. Still, uh, still, still vanilla. While in, in part of Asset, is installed the Microsoft Office, 2000, and LibreOffice. At the same time, in new installation, we use it to install only LibreOffice. On this, Microsoft Office is there required by older software already installed. The first communication kind. Uh, first uh, is uh, very important the communication and training. About two years ago I had start, started the training for users with the collaboration of the ULSS files directors. In the first moment it was just an introduction a free software. To do, we, to, to do this, uh, we have passed on TDF's uh, training protocol. The migration. Migration started uh, this uh, year 
And uh, the project will last two years. The, the process scheme requires uh, uh, proceed with trying. Migration and uh, every single department's document from the TOC and uh, CLSS and the other format to ODF. And solve the compatibility uh, problems with the other health software. Number. This uh, chart represents the number of users involved of trainings during last uh, three years and uh, yet now. And the trainings are Calc, Writer, Impress, and Draw for beginner. In the future, uh, we will have a training to Calc and Writer Advanced. Some problem. It's very uh, very problem is uh, the fonts. To use these fonts is uh, uh, mandatory to agree Microsoft and uh, end user license agreement. Uh, at least uh, 2007 or later, Microsoft Office. If you have uh, this font in PC and don't, uh, don't have Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Office uh, 2007, uh, it's not uh, uh, allowed. Okay? We pay the license office. Some problem? Conversion on DOC and Excel, Excel file or ODF format. Interoperation with other public administrations. Macros and template. Most problem are connected to other software requiring Microsoft uh, Office, which have uh, been uh, predominating for so many years. So exchanging documents with the other public administrations may become a problem if they aren't uh, able to handle ODF. The deployment technique. Okay. Uh, for the deployment technique, they use OCS inventory. is a software um, with France. Uh, the office deployment technique my tech department, uh, we have done tests with the critical documents and the spreads and the LibreOffice version we are going to deploy. If uh, the test is okay, I use it to create the script and insert it in the OCS server for deploy. Uh, I use the vanilla version in this, in this moment. Um, for uh, four four five, and uh, the script uh, uh, permit is not uh, massive uh, massive deploy, but ma by department. Uh, this process uh, variable in time and in paki packages number. Okay. Thank you. If you have a question for OCS, I... thank you.
No, no, is uh, the support is inside to uh, um, engineer in the technical department. They, they I, I train the people, the internal people to do support. Yeah. Uh, not, I, then, not third level, but first and second level. So far, third level has not been necessary. Okay. And he also is somebody working in an external company. So this, uh, this was all made you know, by his company, which is outside the organization. But you know, it's a I have a desk for uh, one level and two level for all problems with computer and libre office. The question for the system uh, um, is not a technical presentation. Huh? <laughs> okay, it's a, it's only demonstration of, of the, the yes. deploy. Uh, um, we don't use uh, Active Directory or uh, uh, other system. OCS deploy permit the, the deploy with the uh, Microsoft system and uh, a Linux system, and uh, um, Mac, Macintosh system. All system for this, this uh, I, I choose. Okay. Okay, if you don't know OCS inventory, it's really worth uh, having a look, because it's a very interesting tool. It's open source, you can use it with every platform, uh, and it's rather easy to use. Uh, it's not very known as a, as a tool, but then uh, it's, uh, it, unless uh, of course the, 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 the organization is already deploying, uh, <coughs> using Microsoft tools to, for massive deployments, but if they don't use a Microsoft tool for massive deployment, this, this one is very interesting. Uh, because you can have control on the deployment, but it's free software, so you, you basically can configure almost everything uh, in your uh, in your uh, massive deployment, control the deployment and control the version of software installed for group. Yeah. By group. Yeah. Sorry. So you can change configuration, change the user profile, change all the switches, and the software takes care of that. Unfortunately, it's not very well known, but it's a, it's a very good tool for uh, people who is uh, used to manage and administrate ne networks with something like Nages, for example, or uh, the old good old mm -hmm. Tivoli from um, IBM. You know, it has an agent to be installed on each machine, and with that agent you can really uh, take control of it, uh, deploy and any software, and then upgrade it, and so on. And it's most platform and other systems. So, that's what he has to do. I just learned this one. It's a good one. So good one. It deserves. Thank you very much. Thank you.